Hi there, everybody. Uh, so once again, I'm coming to you from Bruno, Czechia. Uh, I'm coming to you from the hall uh, next to the cemetery, the hall in which the body would be brought after being prepared before being buried. And I'm traveling through Europe, as a lot of you know, traveling, um, telling the stories of the righteous amongst the nations. Um, however, this is a unique opportunity, and I find myself here uh, in this special place with this incredible echo, as you can hear, and I hope is isn't bothering the video too much. But this is a very special opportunity for me able to give a bit of an explanation to a lot of questions that I'm asked. So a lot of people um, will talk and will know about different ways of burial and death and so on and so forth. And friends of mine in Poland especially often ask me about the Jewish connections and the Jewish traditions connected to burial. Uh, and, and here, in this place is probably one of the best opportunities I'm going to have to, to give this explanation, to explain it, because of the uniqueness of where we stand. So where we are is just outside the cemetery. Um, this is the hall in which the body would be brought um, after death. Um, the, the Jewish belief is that the body is connected to the soul. What that means is it means as soon as somebody dies, we bury them as quick as possible to enable the soul to go to heaven and there be no disruptions on the way. This is also the reason why once somebody's buried, it's very unusual to move them, which is again one of the reasons why Jews don't exhume, which obviously brings a lot of other issues that we speak about and people know about, Yed Bavna and so on and so forth. Beyond very rare cases or exceptional circumstance, Jews will ever exhume a body. The body is holy in its form because of its connection as the outward source which holds the soul. And after the person has died, the body is washed in a specific way and prepared for burial. The body is wrapped in a white shroud. And the tradition is that you come your, from the dust you come to the dust you go, meaning that the body is then buried directly into the ground. So, for example, in Israel, people are buried without coffins because, again, from the dust to dust. In a lot of other countries, for example, the United Kingdom, where it's uh, a legal requirement to be buried in a coffin, people are buried in very simple wooden coffins that deteriorate very, very quickly and holes are bored inside to enable that to happen. But what we're able to see here from this place where we stand now is kind of how it would look, how this ceremony uh, before burial would be. Again, this is quite... Um, a specifically beautiful site, uh, very, very, very nicely sort of refurbished uh, five years ago from what I understand over here. And the body uh, would be placed uh, with its right shrouds on top of this kind of um, sort of device where it'd be laid down and pull the pallbearers would be lifting this up. From there, the body is placed at the center part over here where eulogies uh, will be said and the mourner prayer will be read. Uh, this is the prayer actually that's written up here um, that the mourners uh, will say uh, in memory uh, and in honor. These prayers are said uh, consistently for 11 months after the death until the tombstone is placed, elevating the soul uh, to heaven. And, and once again, this is a, a very unique place. Again, incredibly beautiful um, and a very sort of meaningful place uh, for the Jewish people. And there's a lot more customs and traditions when it comes towards burial. But again, this is just a, like a little snippet of, of what um, a lot of people have been asking me and want to know. Uh, and this is a focus of, of a project that I have coming up very soon that a lot of you would have heard of and seen about. Uh, so for me here uh, in this really rather incredible uh, prayer hall just outside of the Jewish cemetery of Bruno, Czechia.